let's go ahead and go back and let's create some snapping from left to right so you can see what this sounds like. So if you had audio coming from the right, which is probably your left, right? And then over here on the left, right, left. What up techies and gamers, it's your boy Jermaine back with another new video. Welcome to Tech Toys and Gaming with Jermaine. Uh, I'm your host, Jermaine, three times in a row, Jermaine. And today we're going to be reviewing, I guess it's a kind of a professional uh, shotgun all-in-one mic. Um, it's called the Comica Track Shot, right? Check the B-roll, I'm sure I'm playing it right now. And we're gonna review this microphone, give our spill on it, see if it's good or not. And hopefully by the time this video is over, you'll probably be able to determine whether or not this mic is for your purpose, right? It serves you well if it's gonna be, if the mic's gonna be good for your workflow or not. Um, maybe it will be, maybe it will not. I don't know if it's gonna be good for my workflow. It has a lot of different features and things you can do with it. We're gonna go through it and see, and maybe I'll use it depending on the quality, how practical it is for me to use, and you'll see if it's practical for you to use. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and go into the testing right now, in this second, let's go! The TrackShot is a super cardioid transformable all-in-one shotgun mic. It features multi-modes for switching the microphone pretty much in any orientation you would like. Comes with two independently movable microphones. Comes in this nifty cool little soft shell Comica case, right? Good for traveling, for keeping it safe and secure. And not to mention it looks cool and flashy. Comes with two audio cables, one for your smartphone and one for your actual camera. Two wind muffs, one for each individual microphone. One USB-C to USB-A cable, both for data and charging, fantastic. Two independent microphone capsules that function either in mono or stereo. Has internal windproof design to effectively reduce basic wind noise. Has a cool built-in stepless gain knob to granularly control your audio. Imprinted mode guides to help you align your microphones. A cool IPS screen to manage your gain and modes. You can simply press the mode button to toggle between all microphone modes, multi-directional, bi-directional, as well as manage your battery life. A headphone jack for monitoring your audio, as well as USB-C port for charging and upgrading firmware. A built-in airflow shock absorption system, which we'll talk about in a second. You can also easily mount this on your camera, as well as on a mic stand. And this is what it looks like once it's mounted on your camera. Actually, I've been using the track shot this whole time with this whole introduction and I've been using it in this shotgun mode right here that you're looking at. Two microphones pointed directly at you. You like how I snuck that in on you, right? I <laughs> just started using the microphone off the bat. So I'm pretty much doing this entire video using the track shot mounted on my camera. So jumping right into the review of it, let's just go ahead and jump right into whatever mode it is in right now, which is the shotgun mode. So in the shotgun mode, you essentially have both microphones, right? There's two antenna type like microphones and you have them pointed directly at you and on the back of the camera, you will switch the mode from whatever mode it is into this shotgun mode. Now in the shotgun mode, it is running in mono audio. So you're gonna get all your audio coming in on one channel. Uh, that's basically it, it's mono. Mono means singular, one channel. But this is the quality of the mic. I am about, I don't know, a foot and a half, maybe two feet-ish. If I were vlogging, I would actually be holding the camera from about this distance. So this is about arm's length, give or take, right, with my elbow bent. And right now, we are switched over to the 30 degree stereo mode. So it essentially has the mics pointing basically to the sides of my head. So uh, you get a left and right channel. It's gonna create two channels of audio when you go into stereo mode. Um, which is good if you're capturing audio from multiple locations and if you really want to get that ambient kind of audio in your video, right? You can create that awesome left to right ambience in your headphones, right? If you're using your headphones, you'll hear it go from left to right. Speakers on the far ends, you hear them go from left to right. Very immersive if you're going to use the stereo mode. So let's go ahead and switch over to my other lapel mic just to compare what this 30 degree stereo mode sounds like in comparison, so let's do it. And this is what the audio sounds like in comparison to that 30 degree stereo mode with the track shot. But let's go ahead and switch it over to the 90 degree and see what that quality sounds like as well. It'll probably come in low since it's gonna be spread open even wider going out to the sides, but that's okay. We'll give it a little test and see what it sounds like going from left to right. I'll just probably walk by the camera screaming or clapping or snapping my fingers, I don't know, we'll see. Let's switch over. 
Now, now we're on the 90 degree stereo mode and it probably is going to sound a little awkward, maybe different because the audio is picking up more so from the left and right sides of me and it's not pointing directly at me as in shotgun mode would be so it pick up my audio probably better in shotgun mode but let's go ahead and go back and let's create some snapping from left to right so you can see what this sounds like so if you had audio coming from the right which is probably your left right and then over here on the left right left right, left. alternatively if I were walking by the camera like this and I wanted to keep continue talking and I just go over from left to right and walk, you can see how the audio tracks from right to left as I'm talking because of this 90 degree stereo mode. Basically for any kind of movement that you want to capture going from left to right, skaters, any kind of audio, missiles, what? And last but not least, there is one more mode called the bi-directional mode, which essentially means that you can capture audio in the front and the back simultaneously in mono mode so this is fantastic if you're kind of doing some kind of interview right you're interviewing someone or if you wanted to kind of vlog with yourself and someone else behind you or if you wanted to capture audio happening in front of you and if you wanted to talk from behind the camera the bi-directional mode is a fantastic feature so i'm going to switch it now to bi-directional just to see what this sounds like if it's you know the quality kind of degrades as a byproduct of switching the microphone but let's go ahead and make the switch to bi-directional right let's make the switch bi-directional right now and right now we are in the bi-directional mode where you actually have one mic facing you and one facing right directly behind the camera and this is what the quality would sound like in this bi-directional mode i am noticing that one microphone is actually picking up audio louder than the other. My right track is coming up louder than my left because that is the mic that is facing me. So I can see the levels going up higher than left. But the left mic is also picking up my audio. So you can see it on, well, I can see it on my levels here. And it's coming up a little low, but it's still picking me up from the back. So let's see if I switch left to right, this way to this way. So now I have switched the mic so that the opposite mic is facing me and the mic that was facing me previously is now facing the back. So this is what the audio sounds like. Let me know, did the left sound better facing me or the right? Right now this is the left, the, one, the first one was the right. Let's do another test. This whole time I've been talking pretty close to the camera and close to the microphone just so we can capture my audio pretty well, just to get the quality of it. But let's see what it sounds like when I actually back away from the microphone and the camera, of course, right? All right, so I'm gonna back up away uh, about five feet, right? This is what the audio sounded like five feet away. Um, this microphone does provide some noise cancellation from the sides of it. Um, however, you know, it's sound ricocheted. It goes all over the place. So you're still gonna get some audio and some reverb happening with pretty much any microphone you use. Let's go all the way back into the distance to see what it sounds like. All right, so this is what the microphone sounds like 10 feet away. I don't know, maybe 10 feet, nine feet. Who's counting? I don't have my measuring tape. This is what it sounds like when you're right up on the mic. What? Now, the cool and nifty thing about this microphone is that it actually has an audio jack for monitoring. So you can simply just plug, plug, in, plug, plug in. You can simply plug in your headphones directly into the microphone and monitor your audio on the fly just to make sure that the audio is sounding good, is not too loud on the game. So another cool and nifty feature about this particular track shop mic is that it incorporates a full shock mount into its build, right? And the shock mount isn't like any other typical shock mount. The shock mount actually has these rubber air pockets that actually prevent it from, you know, clanking or banging against your camera or, you know, any kind of rattling, right? These little air filled rubber grommets. They're very malleable and wiggly, right? And it prevents the mic from, look at the suspension on that. It's kind of like a suspension on a car almost. Uh, pretty cool and you won't get any kind of um noise distortion probably with um when you when you're kind of like moving the mic around so that's kind of cool but let's test that out and see what it looks what it sounds like so i'm going to shake my camera around as i'm talking just to see if there's any kind of distortion or any kind of feedback so this is what it sounds like me talking into the microphone as i'm shaking it I don't know if you're getting any other kind of feedback as I'm jiggling the mic. Other cool features with this microphone is that it's definitely compatible with mobile devices. It's compatible with your iPad as well as your iPhone. However, um, I do know that there is an issue with the stereo sound, the stereo audio for iPhones. So um, I don't know if it actually has to do with the adapters that you have to actually daisy chain into your iPhone. That probably causes an issue with the stereo mode. But 
for right now, uh, I can only get a mono signal from this microphone to my iPhone, so uh, just bear that in mind. Another thing I highly appreciate is the fact that this is USB-C charging, right? So um, I actually let the battery die out on this microphone, plugged it into my PC, not even into a wall, into my computer to charge, and it charged pr probably in less than an hour to full, 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 and it charged in less than an hour to full capacity, right? So I don't know if it's because of its USB-C, but it definitely took that battery, that juice from that that little USB-C port. <laughs> and not only that, you also get a full five hours of runtime with this microphone on a full charge. So that's kind of a good thing, right? So if you had, for example, an external battery, right? You can be on the road and not really encounter too much of a setback you know, considering that the charge time for it is relatively short and the lifespan of it is pretty long. So um, kudos to you, Kamika. Definitely appreciate that feature. All right, Techies and Gamers, I hope you liked the review. I hope it was informative. Maybe this is something you're kind of looking for, something that's gonna be an all-in-one to function for multi-purposes for you, right? Maybe you wanna do some vlogging, catching people in front of you. Catching people in front of you. Ooh, that hurt my finger. Wow. Maybe you want to do some vlogging and capture audio both from the front and the back simultaneously. You don't want to have multiple mics. Maybe you want to do some fancy stereo audio tracking on your footage, right? This would definitely fulfill that purpose. So um, uh, this might be the way to go, all right? So um, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you're interested in this kind of content, if it's your third or fourth time, you might as well subscribe because you might be back a fifth and sixth and sixtieth of time. That would help me out as well, right? Much appreciated if you do. Um, and I'll see you in my next review. Later, peace out. What? <laughs>